Okay, so here I want to share a riddle that I just love, and it, it has really pushed so many people, and it has pushed myself to think about um, the, the importance of being efficient in a solution. So what is the problem? Well, let's say we have four people, and here is the amount of time it takes each person, in terms of minutes, to cross a bridge. So our first person, right, let's say this is the bridge right here, very nice bridge, takes them 10 minutes to cross it, and the next person takes them one minute. And then we have another person where, well, it takes them, them two minutes to cross the bridge. Okay, and our last person, they take five minutes to cross the bridge. So the question is, how do you get them all across this bridge in 17 minutes? Now, I should explain, of course, the rules of crossing the bridge. Um, first of all, um, this bridge, let's say it's narrow, and only a maximum of two people can cross at once. So perhaps, right, we want to get everyone across this bridge in 17 minutes. Let's just say we took the 10 minute and the one minute person on the bridge. We, we select, and let me fix that, two, these two people to cross at once, because we could pick up to two, and they fit on the bridge. And now, to get to the other side, the second rule is that they travel at the pace of the slower person. So a max of two can cross at once. And then the second idea is that they travel at the pace of the slower walker or runner or whatever you want to say, the slower time, the, the longer time. And what that means, for example, if we took 10 and 1 across, well, the 1's really fast, but the 10's not. So it takes them the pace of the slower person to get across. In other words, it would take them 10 minutes to get them both on this side. So to get the 1 and 10 over here, it would take 10 minutes. Okay, so the last rule, and that says minutes, that looks really terrible, sorry, is that they have only one flashlight, and you need a flashlight to cross. You can't cross without it. So let's say the 1 and the 10 go across, right? They had the flashlight, they got across. Well, 2 and 5 are sitting back here. 1's got to come back with the flashlight. You can't throw it, right? And you've got to add that minute. So 1 came back, that's another minute on your time. So just to get 1 and 10 across, that's 10 minutes. To bring one back, that's another minute. How do you get everyone across in 17 minutes? And yes, you always need a flashlight. You can't throw it. You can't do anything silly with it. Uh, how do you do it? So now in the video, I'm going to start talking about this, my solution to this problem. Um, and in fact, one, I'll talk about both solutions I have for this problem. Um, you might want to stop it and reflect and then, and then watch maybe the way I solve it and see if you came up with another way or of solving it or if you... if to see if your reasoning is in agreement with mine. So let's go over the, the answer. What's so cool about this riddle is, is you start to realize that the 10 and the key, the key moment, I guess, when you're solving it, is that the 10 and the 5 have to be paired together. They have to cross at the same time. And, and the reasoning that, that might strike you here, at first it seems counterintuitive. They're both slow, but, but that's exactly the point, right? Since they're both slow, bring them together. Because they're, whatever you, whoever you send over with 10, the 10 minute person, it's gonna take them 10 minutes to cross. So why send the one or the two with the 10, right? When you can send the five minute guy over. Because if the five minute goes over at a separate time, that's another five minutes you have to deal with. So you know, at some point, these two need to be paired up. So what's the solution? Well, both solutions basically start off with the one or the two going across. Right? They go across the bridge. Let me just start actually a new window here. I'm going to write the numbers here. 10, 5, 1, and 2. Okay. So we have our bridge. Let me just draw that. First, we take the 1 and the 2 across. How many minutes is that? Well, that's 2 minutes, right? That's the pace of the slower person. And now, you can go either way. That's why there's two solutions. You can send the 1 or the 2 person back. I'm going to send the 1 person back with the flashlight to bring over. And they give that to the 5 and 10 person, but don't forget, it took them one minute to get back. 
Well, now let's get the 5 and the 10 person over. And that takes them how many minutes? Well, 10 minutes, right? Because they travel at the pace of the slower person. And don't, most people feel stuck here, but you should realize that you can send the two person back. You can give them the flashlight. They can go back, right? And that's two minutes. And now, well, send the one and the two back over. They'll return together, and that's another two minutes. And how many minutes is that? Well, 10, 14, 15, 16, we've done it, 17 minutes. And I love this riddle because you start to realize not only that 10 and 5 have to be paired up, but this 5, it could have been a 6, a 7, right? An 8, a 9, or even a 10. It doesn't matter anything less than 10, less than or equal to 10. Because, again, this is really, I think, a problem about using your assets really well. If at some point you're going, at some point you're going to waste 10 minutes crossing this bridge, you might as well include another high number in that process. You don't want to have, if, if you had a person with nine minutes, you don't have to count them again crossing. Why not bring them over, if they're going so slow, with a person that's going even slower, right? It's not like compounding their slowness. They just, tra they just travel the pace of the slower person, and that's only really lose, if, it's, if you chose a nine-minute person, one minute. So that's, that, to me, is the key to solving this riddle. It's one of my favorites. Hope you're